Hey guys, my name is Cameron. If you don't know who I am, then what are you doing? Subscribe. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about the story when I got burnt when I was six years old. So here it is. So this story is going to take place when I was in first grade. I was six years old and it was maybe about 2009, 2010. So I was in first grade and it was late at night. It was on a weekend, I think. And it was me, my dad, and my brother. We were having a bonfire. Why? We were having one is because we first we had boxes in the house that we needed to burn, so we, you know, just burned the boxes. And then my dad asked me and my brother to go around the house and pick up trash that is like, you know, laying on the ground or whatever. And he said that whatever we pick up, have him look at it first before we throw it into the fire, just in case if it's something dangerous, you know. So me and my brother was going around the house or whatever, picking up stuff, and my brother comes across this box. He, sh of course, shows it to my dad because our dad wanted us to show it to him, like I said. And my dad, he was like, yeah, that, yeah, it's fine. Go ahead and throw it in there because he looked in the box to make sure nothing bad was in there. Because what was in the box that my dad saw was just paper. So my dad was like, yeah, go ahead and throw it in there. Well, my brother throws it in there. So then I got tired of picking stuff up around the house. So I was just sitting there playing at the fire with a stick. Well, I hear this noise. At least this is what I think I did. But last time I told it to my dad, he said, no, that's not what I did. But I want to tell the story on how I remember doing it. But I remember poking at the fire, and I hear this loud squeaking noise. And I remember turning over to my dad, and I was like, dad, what's that noise? And I turned back over to the fire, and it blew up. And dad said that I flew back at least, like, three to five feet from the fire so when i flew back i like you know started crying and when the fire blew up it burnt all my eyebrows off and my hair was sizzling i don't know like how much of it burnt but like you know it like kind of like fried it but that happened and my dad he was just standing there laughing because he was in his car cleaning out his car and he was right there at the door, like, laughing at me. And I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. Hey, what the heck? Eh, beat you up. But my brother, he was the first one that came over to me. He was, like, over there. He was laughing at me, but, like, he was, like, still, like, asking if I was okay. I have to pee. I'll be back. Six and a half hours later. I'm back. So after my dad got done laughing, he came over to me and picked me up and he took me into the house and he turned on the bathtub and turned on the cold water so that I can just lay in there. By the way, disclaimer, it is going to be a little nasty in what I'm about to say. So when I got into the bath, I noticed that there was a big bubble on my arm. Like, it was about like right here. No. Actually... So, like, this is the top of my arm right here, okay? So, there was a bubble right here. It was a big one. Remember, I was sitting in the bathtub like this. Well, I wasn't sitting in the bathtub like this. I had my arm down. And then I rose it up and I saw the bubble on my arm. So, I remember I literally grabbed it and ripped it off. Because it hurts so freaking bad. But, like, oh well. Because, like, I, I knew that my skin was going to grow back. So, that's why, you know, I just ripped it off. And plus, I, like, released a little bit of pain. Like, it didn't hurt as much as when I ripped it off. It hurt worse when the bubble, I guess you can say, was there. Oh, and by the way, I didn't say this, but when I got burnt, like, when it blew up, it burnt my whole entire face and both of my arms. So that's why that bubble was on my arm, because it burnt my arms. But after the bath, my dad, he picked me up, took me to his car... And then I remember him telling me that I'm allowed to stick my arms and head out the window if they were hurting, like, really bad. So I remember most of the time on the way to the hospital, that's what I was doing. I was like this. Because <laughs> my arms and my face were hurting. Once we got to the hospital, I remember my, my mom, she came there because my parents, they were divorced. So we was at my dad's house. And 
we was there, and it was like, as soon as I got there, like, they sent me straight to your room, because it was bad. So, I remember my mom was freaking out, but, but it was funny, because I wasn't in that hospital for an hour, well, maybe. I was probably in there for about an hour, hour and a half. And then they transferred me to a new hospital because that hospital didn't have what I needed. Like, they didn't have a fire, like a fire center or whatever, whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called. But they didn't have that, so they sent me to another hospital that does have that. So, I remember they put me in an ambulance and they had the sirens going on or whatever. And we get to that hospital and honestly, I hardly remember that hospital at all. But since I don't remember that, I'm just going to tell you like when, like... What my mom would do when we was home or whatever. So when I got sent home, they had my arms completely wrapped, and I don't I don't remember what it's called, but it's like to help heal my skin faster. But they didn't have anything on my face because you know you literally can't wrap my face. So it was about when I got sent home it was maybe a week to a week to two weeks for it to like completely healed once I got sent home but yeah I'll put up some pictures like right now on the screen and they were honestly like pretty bad like they're yeah they were bad and by the way sorry if it's a little graphic but it is it's like it's bad but yeah that was a story when I got burnt I was like I said I was in first grade and I was six years old when it happened and yeah, and I was out. I was out of school for a while. I was at least out of there for a month or two, cause it was yeah, it was that bad. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this story time. Sorry if it was a little too short. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. It'll probably be either carpool karaoke or something else. I don't know. You have to watch. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, then subscribe. Please. <laughs> and yeah. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>